happy Friday. It's about 10.30. I'm actually in the car right now. They took Wesley inside to this diagnostic clinic. It's a Cushing's follow-up. So we're gonna be here for about an hour and a half. The test constitutes him going inside. They draw his blood, they wait 90 minutes, and then they draw it again. There's two blood draws, so he's getting his blood drawn now. So we might get interrupted. I was wearing my mask because they do the exchange in your vehicle, so you don't have to get out and go inside the hospital. You guys, life has been bananas. Oh, there's my boy. Where'd my fat so? Where did my fat so go? In there. Um, 90 minutes or 60 minutes? Um, it's an hour. Okay. okay. We'll be here. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, the test you heard her say is an hour. So they drew, drew his blood, then we'll wait an hour, and then they're gonna draw his blood again. I actually just wanna do a really quick intro because I have to call my friend Martha, the good candle, because we wanna work on something together, but we still haven't figured out what. So we're gonna brainstorm right now that we have to wait, and me and Wesley are just hanging out, having a mommy sun date. Y'all, life has been bananas. God heard your prayers, God heard our prayers, we found the perfect home for our family, everything is going as planned. Obviously, with the home buying process and the home selling process, there's a lot, a lot of obstacles and hurdles along the way from repairs to negotiations to mortgage companies or lending companies. The title company that is working with us to buy a home is a total disaster. So we're a little insecure about the process, nervous that they might drop the ball. It's just one of those things that for like 90 days, you're just a ball of nerves. What could go wrong? But after talking to you guys um, two vlogs ago, you guys, your comments were so helpful. It's so nice to have an outside perspective to kind of snap you into gear. You know, when I can't control things, when I can't do anything about what's going on, I just have to let go and give it to God, you know, because there's no sense. It's like I always tell you guys, worrying is like going around everywhere you go, walking around with an umbrella in case it rains, but in the meantime, you're worried if it's gonna rain, you don't know if it's gonna rain, and you're stuck carrying an umbrella, so it's a total disaster. Parker and I had a really nice conversation yesterday in terms of the new place and how we wanna include it in in the vlogs and you know, in Coffee Break with Danny and in this kind of context, and this man, I swear to God, I won the man lotto with him. We both are work in progress. I have gotten a few comments about Parker. Um, we're both a work in progress. We're both damaged goods. We were both in the clearance bin, y'all. So he, we won the lottery. We are, are you hot? Do you want some air? All right, well just, you gotta say the word, man. Just gotta say the word, my little prince. There you go. So yeah, I won, I won the man lottery with him. We had a conversation yesterday and he said, we're married now. This is a family business and I support you in any way, like whatever way you wanna take your channel and however much you wanna include the house and the kids, you have my full support. This is a family affair and you tell us to jump and we'll say how high. And I was like, I always feel a little bit of guilt, naturally, as per usual. I always feel a little bit of guilt vlogging because I want people to have the same comfort level that I have. But for me, it's so second nature to share and to overshare. Even if I wasn't documenting on a vlog, I'm an overshare by nature. And I do that because I feel like it helps people relate to me. It helps people feel normal. And I feel, it's like an like it's like it's a forever olive branch. If I'm continuously oversharing that life sucks, that life is hard, that life is stressful, that being a mom sometimes is lonely, it, it feels like a permanent olive branch to have other people feel heard, normal, seen, relatable, you know? And so I want everyone that's in my circle to feel the same way. So anytime that we have an event, a birthday party, uh, you know, people come over to the house, I always feel very reserved at just vlogging and shoving a camera in front of them, unless I've had the conversation of, do you feel comfortable with me doing this? I think it's important that we do things uh, respecting the boundaries of others. My mom would set herself on fire before being included in a vlog. So when she visits for Christmas, I fully intend on putting her in a vlog. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway, uh, I just wanted to update you guys. It's absolutely so super, super, super exciting. Bonus Baby Senior has her car. They're back to school. We found a house. We're moving in October. It's just all going in a great direction. Cognizant of the fact that there's going to be a million obstacles and a million hurdles right now in this moment in time, things are moving forward. And even if they're moving forward at a snail's pace or a cheetah pace, I don't care as long as it's moving forward. And that moment when we need to stop and kneel for a second, we'll take that break. But um, everything is going super, super fantastic. Sophia had her dental cleaning last week and they had to extract a little tooth right in the front it is so funny but she's healed amazing wesley has an appointment today i have an appointment this afternoon tomorrow sophia has a doctor's appointment to see how she's doing after her extraction then on sunday you guys sunday is a huge day for us because it's going to be the first day that all four of the kids see the house they haven't seen it Parker and I agreed that we would choose a house that we thought together as a partnership would be perfect for all 10 of us, including the dogs. We needed to find a house that was perfect for all 10 of us, but he and I would be in control of deciding that. We did not want to include the kids because I feel like they get their hopes up so easily when they see something, especially little kids, like my kids, five and eight, they're gonna see a house and be like, this is my house, where's my room? And they don't understand the process. And I think home buying process is such a heartbreaking experience because you put all your eggs in one basket and then they take them away. You put all your eggs in one basket and they take them away. And it's really stressful and we didn't want the kids to go through that. Plus we didn't want them to, have a part in the decision-making process because Parker and I are the ones that work hard and Parker and I are the ones that bring in the income and Parker and I should have the final say in what we see fit and what is best for our family. And you might think that makes us sound like selfish twat waffles, but that's just, we're of that school of, you have an opinion when you bring in a paycheck. You know, unfortunately, they're still minors. You know, their opinion is what we think is best for them. <laughs> <laughs> Who's with me? No? Did I sound like a <laughs> Anyway, so that's our weekend. I don't know how the vlog will play out. It'll be a little bit maybe full of lulls here and there, but um, you guys, speaking of a text, so I have a panda that became a good friend of mine. We met at my JCPenney event. She actually lives nearby. And I told her my dilemma of not being able to um, sell the furniture from my studio. I was like, man, it's so frustrating. Like I, I'm obsessed with my furniture from my studio. And so for me, it's like selling one of my kids, you know? I was like, and I just, I have no bites. I have no takers. And she's like, oh, the thing that was in your background for years? And I was like, yeah, the cube unit. She's like, I want it. So she actually picked it up this morning. It was, I thought I was gonna be sad to see it go, but I was so excited because it felt like someone that I know that's gonna take care of my things was adopting one of my babies. You know, like I was, like I fostered this baby and now it's your turn to take care of the baby. So. My friend Gina adopted our cube unit, plus I met her piggy, which was nice. Yes, I didn't stutter. She has a pet pig. Her name is Kona. I got to hold her, and she is precious. The sounds that come out of that piggy, it's like magic. It feels like a hug. I just want to squeeze her. Like My cuteness aggression gets really triggered, and I'm like, man, a pig is probably not the kind of animal that you want to freak out. <laughs> they bite. Yesterday was a great day. Anyway, I am running late. I need to call my friend Martha, but I will update you guys on what they tell us with Wesley. I don't think we get results today until next week, but let's see. How do you feel about your first blood draw? Do you think it went well? Do you think it went well? What'd they say? What'd they say to you? Did they say you're handsome? Did they say you're so special and smell so good? Is that what they said? Oh, let me see. Oh, that's nice. Hey, does mommy treat you like a prince? I promised I was gonna give you the best life I could afford, and that's what mommy's gonna do. Anything to keep you healthy, right, my chubbo? Right, my little chubbo fatso? I love you, Bonker Bear. Yes, I do. I love you, Bonker Bear. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me see that paw. Oh, that paw is nice. Oh, that paw is nice. Hey, right, say hi to your friends. Say hi to your friends, Bird. Where is my man? Oh, that's a pretty girl. What is a pretty girl? I'll tell your friends it's 4 o'clock. Who's over there? <gasps> is that my brave patient? Is that my brave little patient? Hello. What are you doing over there? Hi, Mern. 
Hi, Mern. I love you, Mern. I do. Look at that perfect eyeliner. Oh, that's nice. Want to do a makeup tutorial on your eyeliner? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, who's there? Where's my punk? Oh, you're so handsome. Oh my god, someone's outside. Oh, are you gonna get him? Are you gonna get him? Yeah? Are you tough in your cheetah diaper? Mm -hmm. Let me see your cheetah diaper. Oh, that's nice. Look at that lump. Look at that lonja hanging out. Look at that juicy lonja. Let me see that. Oh, who has a muffin top? Who has a muffin top? Popo top. You have a pop. Hey, excuse me. Hey, you guys. Good afternoon. It's four o'clock. I just got home. Not really just got home. Like, I got home and then I left again. I went to get a manicure and a pedicure. And Popo needs to go to the emergency room. Holy mackerel. How's that trachea holding up? Huh? How's the trachea holding up? So today was a busy morning. We had Gina come over and pick up the shelves. Then Wesley had his stem test. Then uh, I had a call with Martha from The Good Candle. You guys, I've talked about her before and y'all made magic happen. Do you remember that um, she gave you guys a promo code because I love her candles. I believe in her candles. I love that they're non-toxic. I love that they're soy. I love that they're whiskey glasses. So you guys used that coupon code so much that she was like, Danny, I feel bad that you're not getting anything out of this. Do you wanna work together? So Martha is the sweetest, you guys. She gave me an affiliate code, which means before when I used to talk about her candles and say, you guys would get these candles because they're awesome candles because we love these candles. That code would do nothing for me. It would just give you guys a discount. Well now, the code that she gave me is a code that every time you guys use it, you will get a discount and I'll make a little bit of commission. I mean, it's like 15%. <laughs> it's not a lot, but it is so cool to be able to see how relationships flourish through things like your support and social media and just believing in products that you love. So um, if you guys were on the fence um, for trying or checking out the good candle, anytime you guys use the code Danny, it's gonna get you guys 15% off an order of $15 or more, which <laughs> stacks up, let me tell you. So um, Coco Mango is my favorite scent ever. I was telling her, I was like, hey, uh, how about you make a Danny candle and make it like coconut, vanilla, bergamot? Like those are my three favorite scents to have inside a house. Almond, coconut, vanilla, bergamot, like that. Maybe not necessarily together, but either like a fresh, fresh linen citrusy or a sweet, but not like cupcake sweet. I like like a tropical sweet. Anyway, so strawberry, there's a strawberry one too. Oh, the strawberry one is so good. Anyway, the call went super great. So I wanted to remind you guys like, you guys have so much power, power in numbers. Anytime you guys support me, even if it's affiliate or not, it reflects on us. And so you guys using that code before, I think it was tan25, you guys using that code before made her or made Martha feel inspired and it's like, hey, look, this needs to benefit the both of us. So that's super exciting. Let me show you guys. You guys, we're in my little storage closet. So these are kind of like what her candles look like. She sells these. These are called wedgies or wax melts. So they're for um, those little wax melters. I love these because I can leave them on, walk away and forget about it. And like small rooms, like my kitchen will smell good for weeks. Probably not how you're supposed to use them but ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live my life am I right so I love those and then if you guys wanted to know the name of the oh my god it smells like a handsome man it's Palo Santo Palo Santo is the most clean fresh crisp handsome man smelling candle um, these are her little yogi jars that I freaked out the first time she started to do this size because, um, hello, how cute is this little tiny guy? Um, and then this is the last one that I have left. This is honeydew melon, which is totally reminiscent of like Danny in middle school. <laughs> but I love her candles because they come in these awesome glass glasses. So they're not just jars. They're actual glasses, which you can use for juice, milk, bourbon, and they come with cool little lids. Her labeling is 
always so classy, super neutral. It's not going to stand out in your house. Like, I feel weird burning this in my house right now because it's a raccoon wearing a sweater holding a Christmas ornament, you know? <laughs> so her um, labels never go out of style. They never stick out like a sore thumb, and they're super easy to repurpose. The labels are so easy to come off. Do you see how this guy follows me everywhere I go? Like, he was literally inside the closet with me as I was talking to you guys. That's the kind of love everyone needs in their life. I appreciate you. I love you. You are, I swear, you are half of my soul. Yes, you are. I love you, super sweet boy. Let me show you guys. I actually just dumped the wax of my melter today. So here's the little melter. Isn't that cute? So I dumped out the wax because it wasn't smelling anymore. You guys, I leave it on for like a month. I'm the worst. Turn it on like that and then it heats up and it melts it. So every time you walk into the kitchen, it's like, ah, deliciousness. So I wanted to give you guys that update because A, we're friends and it's good news and I want to celebrate with you guys. Like, yay, we have a new affiliation. B, I wanna share with you guys because you guys made it happen and I wanna say thank you for that. And C, I also wanna say thank you for helping me support one of my great friends, Martha, in her small business. Rather, it's not that small anymore. Y'all are keeping her busy, which is super exciting. So we're trying to figure out a way that we can work together even further. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know in the comment section below. I was like, y'all, we're moving soon. We need like a signature scent for our new place. You know, something that all of us like. It's so weird because bonus babies love masculine scents. Anything that is like sage, sandalwood, uh, black pepper, espresso, those really masculine, heavy, musky scents, they love them in everything from their deodorants to their shampoo, candles they burn in their rooms, and I'm the total opposite. In the house, I don't like food smells. Like I'm not gonna burn anything that's like pumpkin pie, but coconut, vanilla, mango, watermelon, um, watermelon, sage, stuff like that, mm, sign me up. So maybe if you guys have a great idea, we can work on it together and figure out what it, what we can do. So again, the code Danny, and it works forever. So it's not gonna expire. So if you don't wanna get anything now, you wanna wait to the holidays and get, you know, your friends and family or your coworkers at the office something, the code Danny will never expire. But now I have to disclose, like officially, it's an affiliate code. So if you guys use it, I will be making a very small commission off of it and any little bit of support helps. The way I see it is, it's not the amount, it's the relationship that I was able to create and establish and grow roots, you know, because we went from just being familiar with each other. Martha would just send me candles and I'd love them and I'd show you and that was it. And then it turned into an actual friendship and now we're actually partners. So that's super exciting. Anyway, what was I getting at? I was getting somewhere with this. I came home after Wesley's appointment because I was meeting a few people that were buying furniture and stuff nearby and so I had to take out some nightstands and some benches and things like that out front and meet them. It's so funny now, you know, you run out to meet these strangers who paid you via Zelle or PayPal or whatever and you're wearing masks, it's just so weird. It's so weird that it doesn't feel weird anymore. It's just our new normal, and it's nice to not be scared. It's nice to not feel that, I don't know, uncertainty, I guess, about things. So anyway, I rushed home, and I had an appointment at the nail salon tomorrow, but I really wanna focus on working tomorrow since Sophia has an appointment at nine in the morning. I was like, man, I have Sophia at nine, and then I have my hand and foot my hand and foot appointment. I have my manicure and pedicure that I haven't done in ages at 12. So it like chops my day in half and I really just wanna be able to focus tomorrow. So I called the spa, it's called uh, Villa Nail and Spa. And I asked if they could see me today. Well, the two girls that I usually go with before COVID are not working today. What is that coincidence? A bad one, let me tell you. But the manager was like, no, no, Danny, please, let me. I'll give you my two best girls. You're gonna love them, I promise. Y'all, she was not wrong. Vivian and Judy at uh, Villa Nail Spa, freaking awesome. They did an amazing job. I got gel on my toes and my hands, which I hardly ever get gel on my hands, but because the next two months are gonna be a whirlwind, I don't wanna have to worry about it. This is gonna be, this is, this is how, this has to be something that is a box that remains checked 
for at least the next four to five weeks. You know what I mean? So I went on, where can I put you guys? Cause my arm hurts. Let's see, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you here and then I can just kind of slouch over. I asked you guys on Instagram, I put a little post up and I said, what's better, gel or dip and why? So I don't just want a poll, you know, I wanna understand why you think one is better than the other. So the poll was pretty close, gel one, like, 55, 45, something like that. But the general consensus was they're both bad. They're both good. They both make your nails thicker. Dip is lumpy. Uh, they both damage your nails. They both last forever. They both peel. None of them chip. They do chip. So it was like the same pros and the same cons for both. But you guys convinced me to get gel because I was curious to try dip because it's what my mom uses. And she says, I need to try it. It'll change my life. But the reason I went with gel was because you guys said dip looks more like acrylic, so it's like thicker or it could come out lumpy if they don't know how to do a good job. And I don't like the thick look, I like the natural look. And you guys can tell my nails are like short, as short as they can be. My nail beds are just really long. So I wanted them to look natural or thin. And then the other thing you guys said is gel has a really high shine. So I was like, you had me at shine. So I went with Jail. This is OPI 167. I'm pretty sure it has a name, but all she said was 167. But it felt good. It felt good to just do something that was entirely 100% for myself. I sat there from two to three, maybe? Two to three or two to three thirty. And they like rub you and they put lotion on. And it was so bizarre because I'd, I hadn't been in the nail salon since, you know, all this craziness happened. And they have like these acrylic partitions. They have a mask and a shield. They're wearing gloves. Everything is like super spaced out. I mean, it wasn't even social distancing. It was like massive distancing. Half of the salon was closed in essence and they weren't giving drinks or wine or anything like they used to. So they're taking precautions, but I feel like they've just gotten to the point where they're like, whatever it takes, we're going to do a good job. And I felt safe. So I wanted to buy myself some time with manicures and pedicures. I wanted to give myself space where it's one thing that I don't have to worry about. And you guys might say, well, you know what? Let your hands and your feet go to and who cares what it looks like. It's something that's important to me. You know, like, um, I don't know, my mom won't leave the house without makeup on. That's important to her. There's, there's certain things that just make us feel a little bit better, a little more put together, presentable. For me, it's always been my hands and my feet. I like them to look manicured, like taken care of. So my mom, when I was little, would always say, como te ven te tratan. The way you look is the way they treat you. And it's so ingrained in, in how um, I think, even though I, I go, I go out like this. I go out like I live under the bridge. I was talking to Gina yesterday, the panda turned friend that adopted my cube unit. Um, she was like, okay, I'll, I'll, run, I'll rush out and meet you, um, but I probably should change my pants because I look horrible. And I was like, girl, I look like I've lived under the bridge for two years and you need to solve the riddle to actually get past me. <laughs> That's how I look. My house is a disaster. It looks okay, but it's completely dismantled. I've gone around and emptied out every single closet with the exception of my clothing closet. So like the pantries and things like that are fully empty or they're just waiting to be moved into a storage bin to transfer to the other house and put back. So we're still kind of planning out the schematics of how we're gonna handle the move and how that's gonna work out. It's, it's, it's overwhelming, but it's a very happy overwhelming. It's a very stressful, but very happy, stressful, overwhelming. Um, it reminds me how blessed we are and how, you know, one week things could feel like the storm's never gonna end and then the week after you see the rainbow. So life is fleeting and just because you're in a sad moment now, it's not gonna last forever. And just because you're in a happy moment, it's not gonna last forever. So it's just so important to stay in a positive perspective because no matter what, it's not gonna last forever. And I think I've always, I think I've said that to you guys in the same exact spot before. So I'm gonna show you guys my toes cause y'all are creepers and I know you wanna see, but look at that. Didn't they do a good job? Look at that. It's so pretty you guys. I seriously, Vivian and Judy at uh, Villa Nail Spa. And you know what? I thought the 
price is pretty reasonable. I think when you get your hands and your feet done, you can expect to pay probably around a hundred bucks. And that's kind of close to what it was, including tip and everything. And I didn't even have an appointment. They moved my appointment from yesterday to today. Anyway, I got to focus. I have some editing to do, and then someone's going to come by and pick up a cart that I'm selling. Do you guys want to buy my bed? Cause I'm also selling that. <laughs> Does anyone want to buy my gray tufted bed? Cause no one's trying to buy it online and I'm like running out of hope here that anybody wants it. Y'all, I take care of my stuff so well. I didn't think I did. Cause my mom used to say that I used to break my all the time when I was little. And now, I mean, I've had furniture for 10, 12 years and it looks brand new. That unit that Gina took this morning is about eight years old and it's still in amazing, excellent condition. So, um, if y'all want, want the bed, just, Shoot me a DM. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys, good morning. I'm not looking at you because I'm driving. Happy Friday. Me and the Sophie girl are going on a mommy-daughter date. I am taking her to the vet for her follow-up appointment on one of her extractions in her mouth, a little tooth, a little gap. She's looking like a little baby pirate, so cute. So that heavy breathing and panting that might be triggering some of you guys. That's just Sophia being neurotic as per usual. You guys, I posted on my Instagram and I saved it on my highlights so that you guys can see, but I recently discovered the best bra. I'll insert a picture here. The best, the best bra ever for those of you that are uh, on my team, uh, AKA two by four, um, AKA itty bitty titty committee. So if you guys play on my team, then you know how hard it can be to find a bra that is not only cute, but comfortable. Cause we don't got nothing to hold it down. It just slides right up, it just slides right up. It's like when you wear a scrunchie and it doesn't stay in place. <laughs> and you know the hardest part for me, the bra that makes me feel the most personally victimized are the bras that I have to pull on over my head. If it does not have hooks, I feel like I'm putting on a training bra and I feel attacked. So I want a cute bra that has hooks so I can feel like a big girl. <laughs> so I found it and I'm in love and I'm so happy and I posted on Instagram and I was like, look guys, if you have no boobs like me, you're gonna love this bra and it's $20. I mean bras, I'm used to paying 50 bucks a bra. It's a $20 bra, awesome, so many hooks, it's wide band in the back with lace, so it's cute, but it also flattens out the rolls you get on your back. I don't care how skinny you are. I don't care if you're a size double zero or double XL. Everyone gets a lump on the back. So if you get a wider band, it kind of smooths things out. So it has that. Anyway, I posted on my Instagram, and I got a couple of messages, obviously from troll accounts, you know, the ones that don't even follow you, but they send you a direct message. They have no picture, or their picture's like the ocean, or a kitty. It's like, no, I wish you would drown in the ocean, because kitties are way too cute for you to be using them as your profile picture, okay? Um, so I got a couple comments that were like, your belly button's gross. Why don't you wear high-waisted jeans to, ho to hide your belly button, was one of them. Wear high-waisted jeans. I was like, I thought, I thought these were high-waisted jeans. I'm just almost six feet tall. <laughs> I have a disadvantage, y'all. Well, I was like, man, it really upset me because you know what? Carrying a child, getting pregnant is very hard. And I've talked about it before shamelessly. I did not enjoy being pregnant. I love being a mom. I love being able to have the blessing of having a child. I am not taking that for granted because I know how difficult it can be for some people. And it's just, it's, I can't even imagine how hard that is, right? So I've been blessed to be able to get pregnant. I lost my first pregnancy. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I lost my first pregnancy at about 16 weeks and my two sons, full term, super healthy, giant babies. Anyway, what I was getting at is people don't talk about what happens when you have a child. Yeah, you get a cute little baby to bring home, but what happens to your body? I mean, from the hair loss to the dental damage from all the calcium they steal from you to the bone pain. Like I have sciatica now, I'm almost 36 and I have sciatica. 
like someone that's in their 60s. You know what I mean? I know it's not an age related thing, but it makes me like it makes me walk like I need a cane. <laughs> so anyway, when I had my second son, my belly got bigger sooner and I'm pretty sure he herniated my belly button. I haven't gone to a doctor to have a diagnose like an actual herniated belly button because if it is, I mean there's corrective surgery. And it does bother me enough where I would have it corrected, but it also doesn't bother me enough where it would bother me if I never had it corrected. Does that make sense? Anyway, so the, you know, comments like, oh, your belly button's gross, or wear high-waisted jeans and cover that thing. It's like, man, people don't talk about this stuff that happens when you get pregnant. Uh, cavities, tooth loss, you need glasses all of a sudden. Hey, guess what? Your feet grow so much, none of your shoes fit anymore. My hips widened a lot, and I had to get rid of all my jeans, or all my pants. Um, I had balding, like big bald spots at the top of my head. The hair never grew back, which is why I do a part to my right side. Um, and I got my herniated belly button, or what I think is a herniated belly button. And so it's like, you know what? Like, don't talk about people's bodies. And that's like the number one rule I actually have with my eight-year-old son. He's like, oh, the fat lady, or oh, that tall guy, or the guy with the ugly teeth. And I'm like, no. It's a, it's a rule that we've worked on since he was a little kid and it's gotten to the point where he's figured it out. I'm like, we do not talk about people's bodies. That is a no-fly zone. You don't talk about how they look. You don't talk about how they smell. You do not talk about anything that has to do with someone's body. That is none of your business. That is private and it does not touch your lips, okay? Okay, mommy. God, this person keeps swerving into my lane. Do you want me to hit you? Because I have insurance. I'm that driver. Anyway, so it really annoyed me. I was like, I'm just trying to show you guys a cute bra and you guys are looking at my belly button. Like you should be looking at my boobs. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> okay, so funny story. Happy Saturday. It's three o'clock. I may or may not have forgotten that I'm supposed to be vlogging. Okay, so I woke up at five. I couldn't sleep anymore because I went to bed super early yesterday and I'm having a bad hair day today apparently. So I went to bed super early yesterday, which means my old lady butt got up super early today. I ran around just kind of organizing things around the house. You know, when you're getting ready to like move or sell or buy or rent or whatever, there's so much little stuff that takes up so much time if you wait until the last minute. So there's a lot of stuff you don't think about, you know, when you go from one place to another, furniture doesn't translate, organization doesn't translate, storage doesn't translate. So you kind of have to think ahead of what you're working with and have a plan on if you're ready to land at the other zone. And so for me, it's like a lot of the stuff here, not, not sure if it's gonna work out. So I'm kind of like going around and taking down curtains and thinking like, is it even worth taking down curtains? Cause sometimes if you sell your house, they want the curtains, like the window trimmings. Window trims, you okay? You guys your football? Coughing up a storm? So just thinking about all that stuff and I've been so in my head focused in the zone that I haven't, I feel like I haven't gotten anything done, but I also haven't stopped for a second. Y'all are looking at my shirt, aren't you? Okay, so it's the best color in the world slash leopard print slash my kids' names. Well, my dog kids. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Uh, my friend Gina made it for me. She has a, um, I don't even know if it's a t-shirt business. I know she has a t-shirt Instagram where she posts designs that she does. So she surprised me with this when she came to pick up the Ikea unit that I was selling from my um, studio. Anyway, um, I totally spaced and I should have been vlogging this morning. I just peeled the whole watermelon. I could have taught you guys how to peel a watermelon, but just it's a missed opportunity. Y'all, I am dropping the ball, but um, I cut half a watermelon. The other half, I'm gonna throw it in the blender because I wanna make agua de sandia. Y'all, it's a very complicated recipe, okay? You ready? You peel a watermelon and then you blend it. <laughs> Sometimes, if you're feeling fancy, you can squeeze a lime in it and add mint. My personal favorite is just watermelon with a pinch of lime juice. That's it, that's the way I like it. So we're gonna blend up half a watermelon right now and make some agua de sandia, watermelon water. It's just, it's delicious. It settles 
And I think culturally, when like Americans see it, and I, I'm not saying that in a disparaging way, I'm just saying if you're not Mexican and you're not used to eating street food or seeing how they sell agua de sandia and those big giant um, glass barrels, it settles, so you have a ton of foam at the top and then the water at the bottom. You just have to give it a stir. It's amazing, it's delicious, there's nothing wrong with it. It just looks a little funky when you don't give it a little huggy stir, you know? That's it, Parker and the girls are coming over. They're gonna spend the night here, and then tomorrow the boys get here in the morning, and we are going to show them the house for the first time. It's gonna be a big day. You know what else is exciting? So we have celebrated Parker like three different times already. We went on that double date with his brother and sister-in-law. We did all his presents with the girls. And he initially had said he wanted to do something with all four kids. Well, that, ha that opportunity has not presented itself. I don't think the boys and the girls have seen each other in like two months. It's been weird. Anyway, so um, I was talking to him about tomorrow and initially it was gonna be, his birthday party was gonna be tomorrow, but it's been like a month since his birthday. You know, the moment has passed. We've bought a house since. <laughs> so um, my mind's like in a different place. And I was like, we're not still doing that, right? On Sunday. And he's like, well, you know, it would be nice to like, I don't know, like blow out a candle. Like, it's fine, you could just, just give me a candle to blow out or like just, put a candle on a bag of chips. You know, he is funny because as much as I say he never asks for anything, he literally always gets what he wants. <laughs> He's a little high maintenance. And so I had to rush to the bakery this morning to pick him up a cake so that we can sing happy birthday tomorrow so that when we show the kids the house tomorrow, he can also have birthday cake. Now, it's always a good day for cake. There is never a reason to be needed for cake, or rather, you never need a reason for cake, right? So I'm like, all right, if a man wants cake, get him a <coughs> cake. So tomorrow we're gonna eat cake. And if we're lucky, you might need a pig. adventure okay you guys we're doing house chores and I'm currently suffering a bee infestation in this um the double go away go 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 Chima go so there's a hive in there look at isn't that super cool and I told Parker we can't kill them we have to call someone to move the hive they're honeybees but this is the real problem look at this so this is a water softening tank. We have really hard water here. This is what keeps my hair looking fly. Just kidding, it's really important. Anyways. Oh no, the ants are biting me! They're biting me! They're biting me! Ow! I was like, what is that? Oh! No, Parker, you're gonna want my pants! Just saved your life. No! Stop! Stop! They're gone! Oh, they bit me in my toes! Be, kill them, kill them all. Anyway, what I was getting at is they keep building their ant hill in the machine. And look how big it's gotten. We need to get into there to refill it with salt. Oh, my toes hurt so much. They got right in between my little toes. Ow. It hurts. Get him. For the attempt on my life. Huh? 
Oh, you got a crimp. Okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> uh oh, the bees are getting mad. The bees are getting mad. Damn, it hurts so much. So scary. Well, the bees are gonna get mad. We're just pissing everyone off now. This is just a terrible idea. All together. Look at that. Oh, the bees, the bees, man. The bees, man. What was over here living his best life? No, not a care in the world. Ow. Your mommy's whining, Popo. Popo, do you like the sunshine? Do you feel good? Well, I, I got rid of the ones on the right side and they just came back on the left with fury. And there's one by the mailbox. There's one um, up here by the brick. I mean, they're everywhere. Is it like ant season? <laughs> Is there an ant season? Maybe. <laughs> The weather's nice, and maybe that's why they're You guys, the beast just attempted against my life. It's not a good day. My foot hurts. Got right in between my little toe and my next little toe. <laughs> I'm not a wuss, y'all. I have a tattoo on my ribs, okay? Let the record show. I had two cesareans, and I went home on ibuprofen, okay? So... Actually, it wasn't ibuprofen, it was a bit of phenamine. Because, you know. Anyway, if you know, you know. Now my feet hurt. We ordered Freebirds for dinner. We're waiting for it to get delivered. We're probably going to have to get poison to kill the ants. But I'm scared the poison will leak into the, um, the bees and then make them sick. Because bees are, bees are special. We don't want to kill them, you know? Hey, if we get ant poison, won't the poison make the bees sick? No. You're lying to me just to make me feel better, aren't you? No. Oh, okay. We'll make sure it doesn't get close to me. Okay. So we're going to do like a Home Depot date later or what? Sounds like it. We need filters. We need decorative light bulbs. And ant poison. Look at that booty shaker. <laughs> it's literally right in frame. <laughs> like you did it on purpose. Did you do it on park? <laughs> park. <laughs> you guys. I'm telling you. I was like, why does my foot tingle? Ah! <laughs> my, my pinky toe still hurts. I was a victim of a crime. <laughs> Were you a victim of a crime? Crime is my brand new flip flops getting all jacked. And we have documented the procurement of those flip flops since last week's vlog. I knew I shouldn't have. <laughs> it's okay. You gotta you gotta make them soft. You gotta break them in. You gotta He's break them. Busy, man. Where's Popo? Is he still there? Where's my little person? Where is he? Chim? He's right behind you. <laughs> Hola, cosa de mi vida. Are you gonna poop? Are you gonna poop in your crib again tonight? Are you gonna poop in your crib? Huh, you little pooper scooper? <laughs> you gonna poop? Are you gonna poop? Are you gonna poop? Oh, you're so nice. Oh, you're so nice. I love your face. I love your face. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there, Bubba? Listen. Listen. <gasps> Who's there? You're not, you're not at all getting anybody. Come on, you're my security. Secure the premises. Security, secure the premises. Oh, you're so handsome. Hey you guys, it is a little bit after 6.30. I come to you after my violent assault by an ant hill um, with even more terrible news. Parker, thinks he can give Sophia a haircut. So he's currently in the bedroom, 
attempting against her curls. And we're gonna see, see what happens. I feel like we need to do like a side by side before and after. It's, it's gonna be questionable. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little excited because it'll save me $65, but <sighs> I'm putting my child's curls in the hands of Parker. Is this gonna go well or is this gonna go bad? We shall see. Uh-oh, I hear the clippers. Oh, oh, did you brush it first? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Should I be a little bit shorter? No, let's just, just keep it long. Yeah, because if she has tangles, then it'll hurt. Is she nervous at all? No, she's very calm. Are you going to leave her hair long for a ponytail? If you want. <laughs> I'll take requests. Her ponytail is basically her personality, so. I'm sure she won a little palm, a little palm tree at the top. All right, Sophia, what do you think? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a good? Is it gonna be a good job? Are we gonna do a good job? What do you think? Do you feel confident? <laughs> she has Stockholm syndrome right now. Okay. <laughs> what do you girls think? Good job? Mediocre job? Good enough job? Well, I did a good job on her butt. <laughs> <clears throat> you, know, you start low and you work yourself up. My camera's just trying to focus on your arm. Can you make it look nice? <laughs> what are you doing down there? Are you for protection? You're making sure he does a good job? Huh? Are you security? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> okay, let me do it before. Ready? All right, little lady, this is your before. Look at me. Hey, look at mama. Look over here. Hey, hey, hello. Okay, this is Sophia's before, and then we're gonna, by the magic of camera, after. Dun, 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 dun. After. Sophie. Hey, come here. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at you. No. <laughs> Can you see it? Can Why? you see it? <laughs> Oh wow, look at you. It's nice. We got the layers happening. We got lots of layers. You like it? Your ears feel light? <laughs> I like you still have some hair for, for ponytail. Wanna do a ponytail? All right, you're being interviewed. What do you think about your haircut? What do you think about your haircut? Look at me, look. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, do you like your sister's haircut? Oh, he's like, mm. <laughs> this is sus. <laughs> They didn't take you to the salon, did they? We usually go to the salon. Are you fancy, Wesley? Oh, she I loved it! it. <laughs> Does feel nice, doesn't he? Seal of approval. <laughs> That's a good girl. Did you say thank you to Parker? We just got two more that we need to cut. Let's do these. Come on. Oh! Sophia! Hi, baby! Tell me your haircut. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> What's she doing? Let me see the haircut. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> wow. Hey, Sophia. May May. Oh, May May looks so pretty. Yes, you do. Look at that face. <laughs> She's such a ham. She keeps posing for it. <laughs> so, are we doing it again? Okay. How about now? <laughs> you this smile. This smile. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. I love you. She smells like her dad. <laughs> she smells like cologne. Do you see how her attitude changes? When she has a ponytail, she's a <laughs> She is. She's so sassy. Give it a smile. Give me a smile. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> hey, you guys. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's a little bit after 9 o'clock. Whoa, this is a lot for it to be a Sunday morning, but today is a big day. Today's a big day because the boys are back, the girls are here, Parker's here, and at 11.30, we're gonna go see the house, all six of us, for the first time. It's a big deal, you guys. I wanted to look cute. I've also been sitting here since seven o'clock getting some work done because y'all girls slacked. 
your girl slacked. I don't know what accent that was, where it came from. I sounded possessed. Your girl slacked all weekend and I didn't slack. I didn't slack. I just didn't get my work work done. So I just did it now and I'm super proud of myself. Y'all, when I procrastinate and I'm under pressure, I get it done. It's not a good thing. I'm not, you should not be bragging about this. Like procrastination is terrible. Okay, so at 11.30, we're gonna go see the house. At one o'clock, I have a surprise for the kids. <laughs> uh, a surprise for you guys too. It's really more for me. Like I, I, need this, I need this for myself. And then we're gonna do some cake for Parker. Oh, and I have a grocery pickup. Y'all, today's gonna be so wild. Where's your ponytail? Hello, say good morning to your friends. Hello, pretty girl. Oh yeah, what else? Who's there? Wanna go say hi to the boys? Yes. I didn't think it was gonna have these many parts. If anyone's to blame here, it's, it's this one. You can't leave me alone to my own devices on Amazon. Okay, I just look at pictures and I'm like, yeah, this looks okay. It actually looks really cute. So the girl's bathroom has decent storage. I think it has enough storage, Parker thinks otherwise. So we had to get a little head knocker situation. I think it's always nice to have extra storage than not have enough. And it's cool to have a place where you can do extra toilet papers or towels or whatever. So I found this little thingamaroo on Amazon, which is cool. We were actually gonna put, do you guys remember the head knocker that I purchased on Amazon a couple months ago? I talked about it in an Amazon favorites, but that one has legs. So the legs go behind the toilet. Their bathroom has a ridge, like a minor little shelf. It's a useless shelf, really but it won't fit flush against the wall. So we had to find one that didn't have legs and this thing is awesome. But I'm not here to talk to you about this bathroom organizer. The reason I'm talking to you is because this vlog just miraculously got one day longer. So I told you guys that we have honeybees. We have a honeybee hive in a water meter tank. Like in that, it's a water meter tank, right? Water meter pump? Yeah, it has something to do with the, the water or the sprinkler system. Yeah, it's that, you know that black box that's in the ground? Um, so they somehow managed through the little tiny hole to build an entire colony in there. And I told Parker, I was like, I don't want to get rid of them. You're not supposed to. I mean, there's so many <coughs> brands right now that are working on the conserv conservation, conservatorship, <laughs> the conservation of honeybees. And there's. Huh? It's not a good look if they build in your house. No way. Really? Yeah. Well, we're going to sell this house. What does that mean? That we're leaving all the luck behind? Well, no, it's, it's actually saying, hey, you're going to go forth and prosper. And to keep the good vibes, I like we're going to take care of the bees. Oh. 
they're saying goodbye and good luck to us. Goodbye and Godspeed. What is that? Isn't that a guy movie? Anyway, so Parker found a honey bee rescue. Thank God for the internets. All right, so he found this honeybee rescue. They're gonna come tomorrow and they're gonna move them, but this service is like $400. This better be tax deductible or tax exemption or whatever, because it's for a nonprofit. Hey, that might be a thing. It might be a tax deduction because it's a nonprofit organization. So anyway, they come to your house, they remove the hive, they transport them, rehab them, and then relocate them. Isn't that sweet? Anyway, that needs to be in the vlog, which means the vlog is gonna continue on until tomorrow. How are we doing there, Parker? You're getting close. I'm trying to screw quietly. Oh, you are? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think you put the doors on upside down. What? Aren't the doors on upside down? No? Maybe yes. not. They are upside down, right? You're welcome. <laughs> I may not do the muscle, but I can point out the mistakes. <laughs> I'm so useful. See how it has this little stopper yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm yeah, telling the vlog. Very, very, I'm telling the vlog. Nobody cares. <laughs> hey, listen. Do we need to start a hashtag Team Danny, Team Parker? Because you're going to lose edit, this one. Edit this out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to edit out? You love Your me. haircuts from my life. Oh. You love me, you know. <laughs> You sound like Mateo. Edit that out. Edit that out. He's like producing my life. <laughs> that is a good looking cabinet. Good job, Amazon. So it has doors on the top half, and then the bottom half has a little shelf. You could put wipes, Kleenex, or maybe something cute like rolled up towels in a basket or something. <clears throat> something aesthetically pleasing. Hey you guys, look at that. Look at how big it is. Parker's sitting behind it. How tall are you? 6'2"? Six 6'3". Six Shut up. <laughs> you wish. Oh, it has a shelf! I didn't know it had a shelf. This is very exciting. Good job, Danny. <laughs> All I had to do was shop. <laughs> I'm good at shopping. Isn't that pretty? The reason that this one convinced me versus all the other ones I saw was because um, it's wider not so um, petite. If I'm gonna put something on the wall, it needs to have purpose, not just decorative purpose. And I like the little lines. What are those called? Is that a thing? Uh, oh, it's called... Um, ship shop? Ship shop? Ship 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 It has like the ship... Ship shop. Ship ship lap? Ship lap. Ship lap. I'll go. Yeah, it has that look, which is super trendy right now. But look at that, even the knobs are wood. Did it come with stickers to cover the bolts? Or no? Uh, no. Lame, that's the only downside. Look at that. So you can fit a good quadruple roll. Don't get me started on that hot take on fat rolls of toilet paper. They really drive me crazy. Anyway, isn't that cute? Uh, yeah, and it has magnet. Shiplap? Okay, we were right. It only took us 17 guesses. It has magnets? Oh, okay. So we don't have to be like, close that door, because boom, it's magnetized. I mean, it's, I don't remember how much we paid for this. I think it was maybe a hundred bucks, maybe. A hundred bucks? I think so. No. Is that too much? Um, yeah. What? I'm sorry I didn't buy it on Craigslist. Maybe you should have looked. Hey, listen, if we were on your timeline, we would get this cabinet in two years. Well, I don't appreciate all your personal time. <laughs> Real life, you guys. This isn't sugar-coated life. All right, let me see how much I paid. 99. Look at his face of disapproval. Disapproval. Anyway, well, I'm happy with it, and I like it. And I think my Rander Bears is going to love it, too. That's all that matters. Just like this little stool. You like my little stool? How cute is that? Yep, I got that, too. I got this one over here, too. Yep. Who else? Anyone else? No? No? Oh, all right. All right, you guys. So, here's the scoop. Mackie, what did you think about the house? <laughs> that looks cool. What did you think about the house? Awesome. What about you? Awesome? Yep. You know what I think about the house? Okay, but we interrupt this vlog 
because we have a special friend that's coming to meet the kids. So I have a friend, her name is Gina. I've talked about her before. She made me that t-shirt that I was wearing yesterday and she's also the one that bought my cube unit that was in my filming space. Do you guys remember the OG filming unit always in the background? Okay, so she has that in her beauty room now. But Gina has a very, very special family member that I freaked out when I found out she adopted this amazing, wonderful beast. So I asked her, I said, hey, I have some um, stuff that I wanna give you. Can you come and pick it up? But it's on the condition that you bring said majestic creature. Mm -hmm. So I didn't tell the, the kids, the boys, the girls, I haven't told anybody yeah. what it is. So when she gets here, we're all gonna see at the same time. It's really just more for me. Like I wanna, I wanna hold, I wanna hold her again. Like I just wanna, just. So it's a her. Her name's Kona. Like coffee beans. Isn't Kona Hawaiian? I don't know. <laughs> Hawa like Hawaiian coffee mm -hmm. beans? Or an island? Mm -hmm. I would ask Parker, but he won't, he won't know. Ask me what? What is Kona? Is it a Hawaiian island or is it coffee beans? Kona, Kona, uh, Kona coffee? I think it's an island. That would make sense, right? Like the Kona coffee would come from the Kona island, coffee bean from Kona. Somebody Google it. Are you, are you talking it through? Hey Siri. Oh God. Hey Siri, is it Kona an island? Tell him about your dad's obsession with Siri. It's, a, it's an affair. He's in love with her more it's than he is with Danny. <laughs> it's an affair, like <laughs> full-fledged <laughs> affair. Hey Siri, she's like, oh, what again? Oh, she's more his wife than I am. It's the fifth time in <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> what could you possibly need to know now? <laughs> it looks like she has a dog. Yeah, it's definitely a dog. Definitely a dog, definitely a dog. Oh, it's purse, dang. <laughs> oh, what is that? That was I thinking. It's a green bag. Oh, what's he getting? Oh, she took over something. It's gonna be a gorilla. <laughs> That's a chimpanzee. Definitely a gorilla. <laughs> it looks like a what? It was black. It's black. With ears. <gasps> it's it has, black. ears? <laughs> it has ears. Oh, my <laughs> dog. It's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look at. I guess you're right. <laughs> oh my god, it's oh, a pig. Mira. Oh my <laughs> god, the noise. <laughs> We're all standing in the window, we're like, what is it? Because I didn't tell him what pet it was. And then, <laughs> come in, come in, come in. How are come you? Come on in. <laughs> oh my goodness. We put the dogs away too. Thank so. you.
for me than it is for you. Yeah. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Yeah. Look at this little pollen. It's a good little pollen. Are they pollen? No. Hoops. 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 Zero. Okay, go. Do you need to turn around so you can see the happy birthday? Do you, you need to see? Oh, that's bad luck. Oh. It's okay. We still got the bees. We still got the bees. Ready? Did you? Oh, God! You're such a diva, huh? Light my candle. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Parker. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. What's your wish? My wish was to eat some cake. Look at his face. You want cake? You want cake? said, let's meet cake. Hey, you guys, happy Monday. All right, so Honey Bee Rescue is here. I told you guys about it yesterday, and I am super excited because I thought this was gonna be something as simple as like you come in, you open the little water meter container, and you put them in a box, but there is this whole setup. What's your name again? Tyler. Tyler, okay, so Tyler's here with us. And he is setting up, he has like a temporary hive. He was telling me all about bees, how they have, what did you say, they have parasites or? Yeah, they can actually, they can transfer, the feral ones can have uh, parasites that affect them. So okay. There's a whole infrastructure built So in. there's a whole infrastructure with bees where he has to take them and quarantine them somewhere before he re-releases them to, you know, serve us all a benefit or a purpose. And so he's setting up his vacuum and a temporary hive and we are going to document the entire process. I didn't I didn't know that I was going to be this interested in bees, but here we are on a Monday morning. <laughs> I think we should get you in a suit. I got He wants me to put on a bee suit to watch the process up close. And I'm like, my brother's allergic. I don't know if I'm allergic yet. And I don't want to test out that theory, but I feel like I need to. I mean, it's 2020, what could go wrong, right? Did I just jinx myself? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> They're not gonna start coming out, are they? <laughs> Y'all, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty sure this is my new look. What do you think? Signature look? Look. I, I we're, think she's We're matching, her. right? Does it bring out the color of my eyes? This Mine's net? a little bit dirtier than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I work smarter, not harder. Like, literally, I've never done this. <laughs> I'm mildly afraid. But we're gonna go in there. He already started to smoke out the hive. So the smoke is only to turn off the queen's ability to engage attack mode, mm -hmm. correct? Yep, that's correct. So she releases like this pheromone that says, attack everyone, <clears throat> attack, 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 we're under attack. But the smoke kind of turns off that communication, right? Just so they're not aggressive, it makes or it a lot easier. Or distracts the scent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing with mildly aggressive bees, because we don't know if they're feral. Did you know there's feral bees? Mm -hmm. All right, Bum. I got my rain boots. Oh, you guys didn't realize this outfit goes all the way to the bottom? You're welcome. Oh, this is gonna be so good. So look, that's a bee vacuum. Bet you've never seen one of those before. You got a little smoker. Custom designed. <laughs> Custom vacuum. Look at this. That's where they're gonna live in the meantime while they get moved. Oh. Okay, ladies, be sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh, he's so cute! Look at that! It's so perfectly round and cute. So that just got started, huh? Yeah. Is that gonna, does that yield any benefits? Yeah. Is it big enough to matter? That means that they're going to be completely unaggressive because they want to save every single one of their numbers. Aww. Let's see if I can show you the queen. How do you find her? Is she wearing a crown? 
She should be. She works hard. She is going to be right in the middle, right? Oh, there. Lord. Wow, these are as calm as they come. They look little. Oh, no, it's broken. Oh, one of them just fell off. Do you save that? Yeah. So this is... You guys, he said that these little hexes, hexagons, hexa, what are they called? Yeah, all these little cells. They're all the exact same measurement. Look at those. Those are baby bees. Oh, so you have to save that. Yeah. Baby bees all right through there. Oh. And that right there is the pollen content. That's where they get their protein. Uh -huh. And they, get, they gather that from all different types of, of plants. And then they get the nectar for their... Uh, carbohy uh, carbohydrate intake so they can actually power their, their flight and all their work. <gasps> Y'all thought you were coming here for vapid content. Look at this. It's a science lesson. You're welcome. Look at that. Look how sweet they are. They're not even moving. I mean like flying at us. I guess that means they, they feel safe, right? Yeah. It's just because we're so good at our job. Yeah. Precisely. Well, I mean, you're here. You're, you're hired as a beekeeper. Did we rescue that one too? Let me get this little girl. Come on, sweetie. Uh-oh, we got a stray. There you go. Oh, join your friends. She's like, nope. See? Yeah. Hey, Susan. What are you doing? She a Susan? I was thinking she looks like more of a Peggy. A Peggy? All right. Yeah, probably. Just give me that vibe. Look at, look at, there's just so many. You don't even know where to start, where to begin, where to end. I'm not even going to use the vacuum on these ones. They're so sweet. Yeah, there's just that couple of little... All right. I'm glad it's not so big. Yeah. I was it was it's good. perfect Monday for you. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I need to take a picture. Oh, we are not going to requeen you guys because you are just sweet as the day is long. Yeah, he mentioned that if the bees are feral or they're aggressive, they take out the queen and they put in like a docile queen or like a queen that's has manners. <laughs> oh, good manners. And she retrains them and then they become nice. Isn't that cool? Okay, girls. What if like some get left behind? What happens to them? Well, an individual worker bee only lives for about 20 days. Oh no! Well, they, if you took a bee and you clipped their wings so they couldn't work, uh -huh. they would live much, much longer. But they literally work themselves so hard um, that they shorten their lifespan. So I must be a bee. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're getting crazy. There's the queen. Oh, she's so much prettier. Yeah. How she has that slightly elongated thorax. Mm -hmm. She's releasing that scent. And see how they're all They're all getting loud. Yeah. So we don't mess with her. Oh, they're getting loud. That's a threat display. <laughs> I'm about to leave you. No. <laughs> I'm about to go inside. What's that? Is that the phone? Yeah. <laughs> Easy girls. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're getting so mad. But as long as the queen's in the box, they'll stay with her, yeah? So we'll keep her in the box with all of her brood comb and she'll carry on business as usual. So that's called brood comb? Yep, you can see where all the baby bees are. Oh. And that's honeybee. That's oh, honeybee that's why it's called brood, because it's her brood. Exactly. Oh, how funny. And every single one of these bees is genetically identical. So they're like twins, but like a million times over. They're clones. They're clones? Yeah. Wow. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna bang these guys in. Okay. I'm gonna put that lid on top. Tyler thought he was just coming for a regular job. He didn't think he was gonna get harassed by a camera in his face. Hey, anything to get the word out there about saving my bees. Saving the bees. Okay, girls. Queen's in there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pop that right there, wait for the rest of these bees to find their way into their new home. How do they find it in there? There's a nice little entrance right there. Oh, okay. So they'll start coming after her her scent. Uh-huh. So 
See that? They're all walking their way. Oh, they are. Yeah. That's crazy. Do you see how they're all flying into that little crack at the bottom? These are fascinating. Yeah. You got a couple stragglers. They're like, hmm, maybe this is my chance to break free. I want to become an artist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you going to Hollywood? Is that what your plan is? Oh, okay. just kidding. I saw what the B movie Bad did joke. for Jerry Seinfeld. I mean, come on, if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah? They're like, I know what happened. You're holding out on me. I'm so glad it was little. Yeah. Not big and angry. And yeah, I thought it was going to be this horrifying, like, scene. Yeah, most of the time it's not this, most of the time it's not this sweet. So we uh, caught it at a good time. Oh, yeah. Whew. So what's next after this? So this one is going immediately to my Fort Worth yard. Um, again, it's the out yard. Uh huh. Um, so that's where I'm gonna take them, <clears throat> do the rehabilitation process. Make oh, sure they don't, they that's don't the quarantine. Any. Yeah, that's the quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to make sure that they're spread out and they're not uh, contaminating each other. Uh huh. And then they'll probably winter in that Fort Worth yard. Uh huh. Because I have easy access where I can feed them and give them medicine come springtime. What? What do you give them? I, it's a lot of essential oils. Is what I do. <laughs> it's it's just to prevent. Uh, anything from coming in and eating their honey, their honeycomb, uh -huh. or their baby bees, so cockroaches and... Oh! Sheep. They do that? They do that, yeah. That's terrible. I mean, I'm yeah. over here paying to have them rescued and cockroaches are just gonna come and f*** <laughs> all up? Oh, I don't yeah, think yeah. so. Especially, I mean, mammals too. You'll get raccoons or possums. Oh, or so I keep them off the ground um, with a little barrier around them. Okay, and so after winter, what happens? After winter, we're gonna give them a lot of protein. Uh-huh. <laughs> Give them a lot of protein so they can marshal their forces and get a lot of worker bees, worker bees built up. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll actually feed them honey that we've salvaged. So from any of the big commercial honey product producers, uh -huh. we'll take what's called their capped honey. Yeah. Which is all the waste that they're not going to be able to sell to people. Uh-huh. We take it and we feed it to our bees. Oh. So they get all that food. They can build their forces and then they can pollinate and be a really strong hive. That's crazy! And from this one, we'll actually probably likely, since they're so well behaved, uh, we'll probably get them through the season until uh -huh. about mid-July. Yeah. And then we'll split them and create two hives. Ooh! Because you want to propagate, or is that even what it's called? Yeah, yeah. These nice bees? Yep, yep. We want to make sure that our bees are nice and friendly, because then they're easier for us to work with in the future. And they're not yeah. going to be stinging people. All right, cool. Y'all thought you were here to see me talk about makeup and food. And I just gave you a free science lesson in this fabulous outfit. Y'all, it's never, it's never a bad day when you get to rescue bees, okay? I feel so good about what we just did rescuing the bees, let me tell you. And you know what? I was about how much it costs, but given all the work that's involved to rehab them and rehome them, I'm like, why don't you charge more? This is brilliant. And just like that, we rescued a hive of honeybees. Y'all, when Tyler said, do you want to put on a suit? I was like, no, I do not. And then he was like, really? You can get up close and you can see and then this and then that. And the more I thought about it, I was like, actually, when is the next time in my lifetime that I'm going to be able to put on a bee suit and rescue a hive of honeybees? Plus the lesson and all the stuff I learned about honey, it's crazy y'all, hold on a second. So if you guys are in the DFW area, here is his contact information. He was absolutely super fantastic, so knowledgeable, so friendly. I think my favorite part was that he was super friendly. He kept talking to me about his fiance too, which I thought was really sweet. So yeah, it's a whole process. I mean, when he told me the price of how much this costs, I was like, that is insanity. And as he broke it down, what they do specifically with the bees, I was like, oh, how can I help? <laughs> what a fun vlog, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I had the best weekend ever. I mean, this is gonna be the vlog about animals. Honeybees, a pig, I mean, it was just, it was the best. I mean, Sophia got a haircut. 
This vlog is probably gonna go down in history as one of my favorite ones to do for you guys. Like any and all my vlogs, anything that you saw, anything that I wore, anywhere we went, anything that I mentioned will be listed and linked in the description box below. Huge favor to ask, y'all know the drill. If you had a good time, if it made you laugh, if you're happy that we rescued honeybees, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys!